Hello everybody, I just quickly want to show a few of the new call features. Um, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a survey and I'm going to show you some of the nice features of uh, setting up a survey with uh, the latest version of Site Toolkit. Now here in my account I have no surveys yet. I'm going to create an account, uh, a survey, let's call it uh, Big Five, I'm going to create a Big Five survey, you know, just as an example. Uh, that is still as this, right? Click, click new, create new survey, a completely new survey, create completely new sur online survey, click here. And then, uh, as you know, you get into this uh, screen where you see scripting code. If you want to learn more about that, uh, look at the documentation. You can use the uh, easy mode in which you uh, have a click and point interface but um, actually what I want to show today is it's not so much about the coding itself but it's also about you know what the surveys look like and about the online interface because this has been improved so one of the nice things here is that uh, we've already had it in the last version but this is uh, has been improved as well so if you click here, this side menu stays on. That's quite handy because this survey creation page is quite long with lots of different things that you can set. So Site Toolkit is very flexible and that's good. But we now also have a, an even easier way of uh, navigating that page. Now, as you know, when you create a new survey, you always get two example questions um, basically you just want to you know, select all and delete those and we're going to create a new uh, survey and let's create the first question you know like just the demographics say my age right so you said uh, L colon is label colon that is a, uh, a text line and let's say the question is how old are you now, what is new in this version? Actually, you don't normally you, know, you would have these items with options, but actually you don't need to do that. If for a text line, if you just have this, it will show you a question. And let me save this code here. Also, on the side menu, it says you need to save your code, so you can click that here. Now, this is a brand new survey, so we need to make it. Uh, we need to, you know, as usual, you need to compile it. You compile and uh, says your survey was compiled successfully that was as it was the survey is not yet online so what i recommend is to go you know just in the design mode y you don't need to change that ever if you don't this is good also for actually collecting data but um so you can get then your your link if you if you want to uh distribute this if you want to hang up posters you know you know you can create a uh a nice QR code and you can then just copy and paste this uh, this image to your poster well let's now click here what it looks like if we run it and then it looks like this uh, you know you have your welcome page this has not been filled in so normally you would more have more information and we go over that in a second but just to see what the question looks like it just now says how old are you you enter your age, whatever it is, say for example if you're 18, you would say 18, and then you click continu continue and then you have finished. So now we go back to the uh, to this tab here where we design the questionnaire. Now it's time to fill it in and I want to show you a few few things that you can do. So as you know, um, you know, we just you have made it online, you have your um, you have your survey link. There are lots of thing more things that you can set you can always find help by clicking the green question uh, mark and then you, know, you can go back uh, filling it in if you want to go to a specific specific section here um, you can go to your uh, to the different sections within this page and this is just really um, to make it a little bit easier to navigate uh, now one thing that I want to show you here let's say you ask people how old they are right now let's put in the big five questionnaire I'm, I, I just now in my tab where I have all my surveys that are ready for use by anyone uh, let's go to the 10 item personality inventory as you know you can just here copy and paste this code so we're um, now we, we so we let's say we, we copy everything here and go to all the way to the bottom 
control C for copy and then I go to my tab here and then I paste and then there's my code and now you see here I need to save <coughs> and so I need to click save here and that's the survey itself um, now let's go to um, to some of the welcome settings here in your you know that that's nice about site toolkit you have this option you you can skip the welcome screen but you have the option to enter <coughs> information about your website uh, about your your survey so um, hello welcome to my survey and then you know like institutional review boards or ethics committees they want all sorts of things to add you can edit here more information here this has been ethically approved or whatever you wanted to say there um, contact information say John Smith you can have your email here uh, wherever that is um, yeah, you can enter more. Also, what's new here, you can have multiple lines that people need to tick. So, for example, do you agree with participation? Do you, uh, do you really agree? Uh, do you know or uh, have you, do you, if, you know, in the UK, they like to say, if you participate, uh, feel free to stop at any time without negative consequences. Now what I do is here, I do it on three lines. And if I do more than one line, so I have three lines, that, and that's new in this version, and I go to save here, to select the welcome screen information save. And I need to go back to compiling it, right? So I compile. And now if you look at the welcome screen, you, you have here this information about my study. You can read more information. There's a nice way of folding menu. If you have a lot of stuff that you know that participants are unlikely to be interested in, you can so like ask those engaged participants to unfold this. Um, now we still don't see the consent information. That is because um, you need to say explicit consent required. So save, click save, um, go back to compile, compile and run it uh, and then you see now you have three extra lines here and people need to click all three of them in order to participate so that that's something new in this version uh, let me close these um, so now what i would like to show you next is um, what you can do here there are different ways of having these sort of like multiple uh, scale questions so we have a new option here so we don't take the width here, we say build up and this gives you something really nice. So look at this, this is what I want to show you here. This is a new feature, build up, right? So um, save my code here, um, save. We go compile and we go through our survey and we see what it looks like then. Um, so first of all, you need to agree here. Yeah. Uh, whatever your age is and then what you see now is here you, you actually get more so you see here the instruction now you see a number of statements about how you see yourself for each statement you need to select one of seven statements select the option that fits best I see myself as and I say extroverted enthusiastic and I guess well, maybe in the middle once you've clicked that the next one appears so this survey builds up and you always can then focus on the last one. So you're not presenting all the items at once. And sometimes, if, especially I think if you have longer surveys and then you're done, uh, that's quite nice. And then people can of course go back and change, but this is just sort of like the built up option that's new in this version. Uh, as you know, in Site Toolkit, you can directly give uh, scores. So it's all new. Um, as said, I mean, this, uh, this side menu is new. The browser that you work on will remember uh, that, you, that you, for example, want this menu forever on. 
if you don't want it anymore, you know, you, you can slide it in. I personally find this really handy to have. And I usually, when I'm working on, on a survey, I, I keep this because I'm, I navigate so much. And, you know, there's the saving for the code, you know, just the script. And there's the saving for the rest. And, and it's some, if, if you don't have this side menu, you would need to uh, scroll back and forth. And now you, it goes automatically. So that's it. I wanted to show this. There's some more features. Have a look at what's new. Try out this version and let me know what you think of it.